Hey guys, welcome back. This is Al from Eat More Vegans again. Today we're gonna to be cooking an American Wagyu ribeye cap steak. The same steak you saw us reverse sear a couple months ago, but today for the first time on the show, I'm gonna be doing it with a sous vide machine. So if you wanna see how that turns out, I'll show you how I do it. Stick around and find out. Okay, let's jump right in. So this is a three pound ribeye cap steak. So if you don't know what a cap steak is, if you've seen a ribeye, a ribeye has two muscles. It has the eye of the ribeye and then around the edge is the spinalis dorsi or the cap. And that is the most tender, fattiest, it's got the least collagen. It's one of the most wonderful cuts, probably the best cut of beef that comes off the cow. You can see by looking at this one, since we're using an American Wagyu steak, the marbling is absolutely insane. So this is gonna be an absolutely delicious steak. So there's not a lot of trimming that I have to do. There's a little bit of silver skin left here. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim the silver skin. And you see, I just slide my knife right underneath it and then I can lift it up and trim the other way. If you have trouble with this, try holding a paper towel in your hand and you'll see that membrane runs underneath this meat. So even though it feels like we're losing some high quality meat getting the membrane out, that's meat that's not gonna cook well anyway and it's gonna end up being tough. So we'll end up taking this meat and I'll turn it off the membrane later. We'll probably use it for ground beef. Okay, and then on the other side, looks pretty good. So we got a little bit of fat hanging off, nothing really much. I don't think I'm gonna trim this at all. So up here, I'm just gonna tighten up these pieces that are hanging off that aren't gonna cook well. And I think we've got a steak ready to go. So let's get this on a rack and we're gonna start by salting it overnight. Anybody who's watched my steak videos knows that we always start by doing a dry brine on the steak. Okay, so I got my steak on the rack now. Because we're doing sous vide, we're not gonna put as much salt on as we normally do, but we still wanna get that salt into the meat. So we're gonna pull out the moisture, nothing different than when we usually reverse sear. I'm not worried about pulling as much out. Remember, we're gonna cook it in a bag for the majority of the time and then sear it later, but we want that salt essence to get into the steak. So I'm just using kosher salt here. I'm gonna do a light dusting of salt. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just a light dusting of salt. I'll get a little bit on the edges. All right, so I'm gonna go get this in the refrigerator. We'll see you tomorrow, and uh, hopefully you enjoy trying this new method of cooking with me. Hey everybody, we're back. So the ribeye cap has been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. As you can see, all of the salt that we put on has been absorbed into the meat. We can still see that amazing marbling. Uh, that I'm really looking forward to tasting. So all we've got to do is uh, get some spices on here and we're gonna do this really basic. We're gonna do just pepper and garlic and uh, then we'll get ready for the sous vide. So I'm gonna start with the pepper and I don't need to use a binder here because it's not gonna go on a grill. It's gonna go right into a bag. So just doing Kind of a light dusting of spices here. And I'll do the sides. And then we'll just pat it down. And that's all we're gonna do. So now the next step is going to be putting this in a vacuum seal bag. So I've got my food saver here. And uh, this particular model allows me to make bags and custom cut them. Okay, so now I've got a bag. This is actually much bigger than I probably needed, but I'm gonna put the steak in the bag. And now we're gonna seal this bag. Okay, so it looks like we got all the air out. We've got our steak nicely sealed in the bag. Now let's swap out our food saver for our Anova culinary uh, sous vide machine. So uh, I've got my steak vacuum sealed and I've gone ahead and filled up this bucket with hot water out of the sink. 
Uh, no reason to uh, uh, boil it or anything. The ANOVA is gonna bring it up to temperature, but this way we give it a head start. And I'm just gonna place the ANOVA machine right here in the tub. Okay, so I've got the ANOVA machine secured, and now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the steak in. So we've got some extra uh, bag, and I'm just gonna slide it here through the grate. And then I'm just gonna clip this bag up here so it doesn't get lost and I'm not reaching into hot water later. We'll put the lid on. You see that it's steaming up a little bit because the water is hot inside. So I'm gonna set the desired temperature here to 128, which means that it's gonna bring the water up to 128 degrees. If I wasn't putting hot water in here, I would have waited to put the steak in until after the water came up to temperature, but the water out of the sink was, looks like 114 degrees, so we're close enough. And then I'm just gonna hit the play button here. And the water's gonna start to circulate inside the machine. And so we're gonna let this go for about two hours. It's gonna bring the temperature of the water up from the 114 now to 128, and it's gonna bring that steak to exactly 128 degrees. Now, if you've watched me smoke you uh, and do reverse sears that way, you know that it's kind of a guessing game bringing it up to temperature, and we might stop it at 115 or 120, and there's continuation cooking. None of that stuff's gonna be an issue with sous vide. With sous vide, I'm gonna get to exactly the temperature I want, and uh, the steak's gonna stop right there, and it's gonna stay there, and then any additional time is just gonna be about tenderizing. So we're gonna let this go about two hours, and then when you see how I sear it, it's gonna be crazy. I'll see you in two hours. All right, guys, it's been two hours. I shut the ANOVA off and I'm gonna take the cover off and let the water drip out. And then I'm gonna use, I've got a glove liner in so that I can reach into the hot water. And I'm just gonna pull our steak out and we're gonna get it out of the bag here. So let me get it out of the bag here. Now we're gonna make a little bit of a mess when we do this because some of that moisture, when we smoke a steak, the steak squeezes the moisture out and it dries. It's one of the reasons people like sous vide cooking is because it keeps most of the moisture in, but now the surface area of our meat is very wet. So, I'm gonna throw this away, and then we're gonna use our paper towels to dry off the steak. And we wanna get as much of the surface moisture off here as we can, because we're gonna sear it in a minute, and the drier the surface, the better the sear that we're gonna get. So, grab lots of paper towels here. That texture that you see is just from the bag. All right, I think we have a dry surface. So let's throw this on a tray and take it outside. And you guys aren't gonna believe the way that I'm gonna sear this. It's gonna be crazy. I'll meet you at the grill. Hey guys, last week you saw me start Darth with this, the uh, flamethrower, the grill gun from Grill Blazer. Uh, nice and long barrel for being able to stay away from the grill. Well, they've got another unit that we're gonna use today, if I don't fall backwards. Uh, this is the sous vide gun. So this is meant for searing meat. Same basic technology, same 400,000 BTUs. If you notice the end here, you can see that it's got this baffle here that's gonna concentrate the flame so that I get a hotter flame for up close. And that's how we're gonna sear this steak. So no cast iron pan, no grill grates, haven't fired up any grills. I've got BB-8 here, just because he was feeling left out, the grills were kind of upset. We used a sous vide machine, so we figure we'll at least let them hang out while we use the flamethrower. So you ready to see how it works? Here we go.
Oh yeah, you guys gotta try this. If you didn't buy one after last week, just remember there's a discount code for Eat More Vegans fans, so check in the description. You can get either or both of these at a discount, and I recommend that you do. Let's get inside and uh, cut this up and see how it tastes. Guys, was that fun or what? Like, all right, so you remember Leah. Hey, Leah. So this is a whole ribeye cap, just the cap. Oh my God. I know, right? And what I did today was different than what you've ever had before. So you've had me do reverse sear before and you like it with the smoke. This one I did in a way called sous vide. So sous vide is when I put it in a pouch and to put the pouch in the water. And then you guys remember we cooked it at exactly 128 degrees. So the steak got to exactly medium rare, right? And then I took it outside and I hit it with the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should know Leah thinks I'm ridiculous for how much I love the flamethrowers. I still love you more than the flamethrowers. I'm scared. I know, right? <laughs> so here's what we wanna do. We're gonna taste it. And I want you to give me your honest opinion. Yeah, it You're, looks really good how, how pink it is. It does look really good, right? What are your three elements of awesome food? M Moist, tender, and yummy. And yummy, MTY. All right, so we're gonna rate each of these MTY versus the smoked. And by the way, neither of us has tried this before. So should we see how we do? All right, so let me cut, which piece should I cut up? You pick. Um, this one right here? Uh, this is good because it's an end, so we got a little bit of good, good uh, sear on there. So I'm gonna cut a piece here, a little piece here, a little piece here. And uh, all right, so this little piece will be for you. And uh, this big piece will be for me. And then you guys, you guys see this? So I'll put it right here so you guys can get it. I tried to take sneak peek. All right, no sneaks. Are you ready? Yeah. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. Moisture, more moist or less moist than when I smoke them? It's more moist. More moist, okay. Tender, more tender or less tender? Um, it's more tender. More tender. Does it have as much flavor? Yes. Oh, it does, okay. I didn't feel like it had as much smoke flavor. You I like the flavor with just the salt, pepper, garlic? So this is a win, you wanna do this? You don't want me to smoke them anymore? Sometimes when you smoke it, I feel like it has too much flavor. Like oh. you've got a lot of, too much smoke on it. And yeah, I, I don't think there's such a thing as too much smoke. But. <laughs> and this has the exact <laughs> right amount of flavor. Yeah, okay, so this is your new favorite? Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys heard it here. If you wanna pick up one of those Anova machines, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, if you wanna pick up the flamethrowers, make sure you use the discount code that's in the description down there. And if you're not already a subscriber, Look, we do all kinds of great things with meat, whether it's on the barbecue, smoker, sous vide, all kinds of fun stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think, should they subscribe? Mm -hmm. All right, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And then if you like this video, make sure you check out this one right here. We did another ribeye cap steak video where we actually smoked it on the big green egg and then seared it in a cast iron skillet. So check this video out, become a subscriber, and we'll see you next week on Eat More Vegan.